Hello and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage here on YouTube. So you join me today for quite an exciting video, quite a different one. I'm sat in my 1957 Series 1 Land Rover and today we're going to be taking it to get service, get all the fluids changed, have a really good look of it underneath with my friend who's a mechanic. So come with me on this journey and let's go check out this Series 1 and see what it's like. So for those that aren't regular watchers of the channel, this is my 1957 Series 1 Land Rover. Had it for about, I don't know, six months now. And this is the first time it's gonna get serviced, it's gonna get all the oils replaced. I'm not a mechanical expert by any means, so I'm gonna take a look at it um, with my friend who's a mechanic over at the Mini Repair Shop. They do Minis, BMWs, but also classic cars like this and any other vehicle really in between. So go check them out in the link in my description below this video. Um, it's driving well this morning. Seems like a very nice day to be out in it. I don't know why I put the Fox sticker on there. I think that's, People are going to really hate me for that. That point needs to come off. But that's from the Fox Shocks on my Defender that I got that sticker. But come with me today. Let's go take this to get service to take a really good look underneath it. <laughs> to start. Let's have a look. So there's quite a few bits that have been changed on it. Like um, some of these are engine wise. He has done a few bits, I think, previously, the owner. I don't think it looks too bad considering it's like 60 odd years old. Do you think that's bad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the guy had a lot of parts from, I can't remember what they're called, there was a company that specialised in parts for them. And he did say this had, it hasn't had an engine rebuild, but it's had quite a few parts rebuilt on it. Yeah. Because the gearbox looks, I think it looks quite, it looks different, doesn't it? It looks. Yeah, even the engine. Is the engine a refit? It's an original, but I think it's got a lot of, yeah. a lot of parts that have been refitted on it. So it's good to get the Series 1 in the air just to take a look at what it's like underneath. And actually, it's not looking bad. That fuel leak that we found on the floor is actually just because something I've done at the top there is one of the filters. So that's not too bad. We can easily sort that out. And you can see under here when you look, some of these parts are quite new looking, um, which is good to see. And corrosion wise, not too bad. Doesn't really for how old it is. Surface rust, nothing that's going through. There is a bit on one of these struts here where it's gone through but apart from that i don't think it's too bad considering its age um rear cross member pretty solid actually so not too different to my defender to be honest these are quite rusty maybe could be done at some point but overall pretty good so we're going to get on with changing the diff oil the gearbox oil uh, and the engine oil as well So we drained the diff oil at the front and actually it was pretty clear, it looked pretty good, car reckoned it was pretty new. So we know not much of an issue there really, but I wanted to get it done anyway. Didn't know what was in it. So we've done that very clear, very good. Go do the back one now and have a look and see if that looks similar. I'll show you on video the back one coming out just so you can see the color of it and what it looks like. But it looked like it's been quite well looked after to be honest so far, which is a good sign. Okay, so this is the rear diff now. Bit less clear? Yeah, definitely, but... Worth doing then? Yeah, <laughs> look like they want a lot in that as well. So. Rear shocks, these shocks, these shocks look a bit like... Oh, I'm desperate to try and train stuff, I don't really need to do it. No, they're, they're, they're not leaking or... That's the main thing, isn't it? Anything like that. Yeah, normally, because the oil fill, you see it leaking out of this yeah. joint here, it's fine. Yeah. Just need, I think it, I'll just do like um, 
an underbody coat, don't right? you know, like a dinner troll or a lana guard you can put yeah. on them, can't you? So that is the rear diff done now. And that was a little bit black, wasn't it? So done that one now. Next is the gearbox. Gearbox and engine, isn't it? Yes. Gearbox all and engine yeah. oil. See what that looks like. Hopefully this won't be too well. Actually, I hope it's quite bad because then it makes it worthwhile doing it. It's surprisingly good. Well, not surprisingly, right. it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Drain plug is there, and then you fill it from inside the car in the center console bit. That's where you're gonna put the oil in for that. And then the engine one, gotta work out, is somewhere around here for that one. So I'm gonna do those jobs now and take a look. Take it away. Yeah, it might splash on you, mate. Let's see, let's see. I'll come inside. It's quite black, so. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, it does, to be fair, it does. Well worth changing, I'd say. Seal's still in there. So that is oil filter, which we've got out there. Looks pretty filthy that you can see. Just there. Oh, is that the little ring? It's not easy to do this on a driveway, is it? No, a lot of people are like, oh, do it on your driveway, it's fine, you shouldn't yeah. need it. So. You'd get covered in it, you'd be like, yeah. oh, <laughs> <your face." laughs> We've got a new filter just here, it's just a lot cleaner, a lot fresher. <laughs> so I think the gearbox on now. <laughs> what? Really clean? <laughs> Brand new, mate. <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> Okay, just filling up the engine oil now. Put in, I think, I think we've put in about three and a half litres now. I can hear it, but this dry dipstick is still completely dry, so I'm not really sure how much it's gonna take. So we're all done. All the fluids have been changed, everything's sorted. Oils, we've done both diffs, we've done the gearbox and we've also done the engine oil. So some of it wasn't as dirty as it probably could have been, but still it's reassuring for me to know that everything's new in the car now, ready to be kind of put away for winter really, my series one. And uh, next project's gonna be to sort out this wheel and tire situation because there's a few splits on here. It looks like they're perishing a little bit and actually these need to be changed pretty soon before driving it. So the service has all been complete now. We've done both diff oils, done the engine oil, done the gearbox oil and the filter as well. And I know a lot of people said before, look, you can probably do this on your driveway, why do you need to go to a workshop to do it? But actually, when you look at it, it's so much easier being at a workshop than trying to do it on your own driveway, particularly the filter. I don't really know how you'd get that out without getting absolutely covered in oil if you were trying to do it at home. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was interesting about the Series 1 and getting it serviced, the progress of it so far. If you haven't already, go check out the mini repair shop in the description below. If you live near Lincoln, great garage to get stuff done to your cars, whether that is your Defender, your Land Rover, or something like your Mini or your BMW, which these guys specialize in. They used to work at the main dealers for many, many years, so really experienced um, mechanics. So uh, go check them out. And thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.